Okay, today what I'm going to try to make is a bacon wrapped meatloaf. I've never done it before, so here we go. We're going to give it a shot. Uh, first thing I'm going to need is some breadcrumbs. And I'm going to use about a cup of breadcrumbs. And I'm just going to put some of it in the bottom of a big mixing bowl. And then about a pound of ground beef. Sprinkle the rest of the breadcrumbs. About a teaspoon of black pepper, just to give it some flavor. And about a teaspoon of salt. And I just need one egg. The last thing we need just to make it nice and sticky so it'll bind together. I'm just going to take my hands and mix it up. Now that we got the meat all mixed up pretty good, I'm just going to kind of flatten it out a bit. Because I'm actually going to stuff this with cheese and bacon. Take my cheese, which is just nothing more than shredded mozzarella cheese, spread some cheese in there. And I have some pre-cooked bacon. This is actually only four pieces of bacon I just cooked. I like it really crispy. And I'm going to put that in the middle of the meatloaf as well. Just going to sprinkle a little barbecue sauce in there. Fold it over and roll it. Now I like the basket weaving pattern. I think that's pretty neat and cool. The more bacon the better. Now what I do is I just go every other one, fold it under itself, and put another piece of bacon there and fold it back. We're making a basket weaving pattern. This time I'll take the other bacon and fold it back. Do the exact same thing. Put another piece down and fold it back. Okay, now that we have a pretty good basket weaving pattern of our bacon, <coughs> we're merely going to take our meatloaf, set it right on the edge a bit. And I'm going to sprinkle a little more barbecue sauce across the top. I'm just going to rub it in. Now that we got everything ready, I'm just going to take the bacon from underneath and fold it over. It's not that easy to do, but we'll try. Put our bacon. Now I'm going to take some brown sugar, and brown sugar is supposed to make it more of a caramelized flavoring. So I'm going to give it a shot. I like brown sugar. I'm going to rub it in all over the top of my bacon. And I'm going to take my meatloaf and set it right on there. Well, my oven is set at 300 degrees, and what I'm going to do is put in my meatloaf in the oven, and I'm going to check it every half hour. I don't think it'll be done for at least an hour and a half, I guess. 
but I'm going to put it in there at 300 degrees, kind of a low and slow cook, and see how it turns out, and I'll let you know when it's done. According to that, it is done. It is at 180 degrees, and according to my USDA meat thermometer, 160 degrees will be cooked for ground beef. So it is cooked. And what I'm going to do, even though it's cooked, I'm going to increase my temperature to 450 because I want to see if I can get this bacon even more crispier. And I'll put it back in. Okay, what I did is I put it in for about five minutes on a very high setting at three or 475. We already know that it's cooked thoroughly, and it's smoking pretty good. <laughs> Just be careful because there's a lot of bacon grease, and you don't want to get burnt. See the cheese, and the bacon. Mm. Can't wait to taste it. Okay, now I've cut a couple pieces. I'm gonna give it a shot, see how it tastes. Some meat, bacon, cheese. Mmm. Oh, that's good. Nice and moist. It's perfect.